Welcome to Pedro Army, and this month, I am excited. We are down here in the Otways, fishing for a very particular fish, known as the freshwater uh, southern blackfish. And uh, actually, I'm not sure they're exactly called that. Doesn't matter. The river we're fishing, is, it's the Gellibrand River, and this river is known to have the largest population of blackfish in Victoria, and more importantly, there's big buggers in here. Now at the moment it's the full light of day and um, being the good uh, fishermen that we are, we didn't just rock up here to this farmer's paddock, we uh, talked to some of the locals and we actually talked to the Ferrari clan who own this entire valley and we had a good look up and down and said, hey, how about a fishing spot, can we camp the night? They said, no worries, go um, down in through this gate where it says no trespassers, thou shalt not enter. We got permission to go in. And here we are. Now, another thing, viewers, when you get to an area, a beautiful riparian area like this, you don't just pick the first little hole that you see to go fishing. We've been scouting around for 45 minutes because we're going to fish into the night. And if we want to move at night, we've got to know where our spots are. We're starting off here in this broad sunlight with a very dark, shady spot which has no sun on the water. And uh, we're gonna, we've got... Uh, We've got the uh, night crawler worms, we've got the scrubby worms, we've got the maggots, we've got the breadcrumbs, we've got the ultrabite burley, I've got bran, uh, we've got the garlic um, fish hormone stuff that's supposed to turn on the fish. So I am, I am really high with anticipation here to see what's in the river. Let's go find out. All right, now set up here with my uh, ledger rod, it's got, it's got a float on it with two maggots although the float isn't cocking itself I'll just go to position so you can see what I mean and hone in on that spot for you I just cannot get that float to right itself no matter how much weight I put on it so I'm not really sure how to use that style of float in this fishing I've also got my second rod which is a spinning rod which has got worms on the bottom, night crawlers, I think they're called. We've also got scrubbies, but they're our secret after dark weapon. Uh, ma maggots on the other, on the other uh, ledger rod. Now we've got burley, of course, over here. The old ultra bite, there it is, with uh, breadcrumbs. That's uh, this stuff here. Bloody beautiful mate, stimulate ultrabite mix burley. No idea if it's working. The current here is very strong, so I think a lot of the burley is getting washed downstream. And I, I really wish I had a bell to put on my rod, because when it gets dark, I'm not going to bloody know if I'm getting bites. Oh well. Alright, I've caught a, a bloody disgusting animal, and even though I'm a Lithuanian, since I don't have any vodka, I'm really going to have to chuck him back. The, the humble eel, uh, very good smoked, and um, can you get him in the shop, mate? Yep. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this baby. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. We've got a, a fish that's biting the uh, worm bait down here of mad dogs. When are you going to try and hook him, mate? Well, I'm letting him just draw the bait into his mouth and roll it around. I'm going to give him a little bit more play right now, so there's no restriction at all. And I'm back into a comfortable sitting position. Is he still biting? Let's see. I think what he's done is he's had a nibble, he's gone away, he's come back and he's had a bit of more of a nibble. And the scrubby that I've got on the end is half, half a one, which is about that long instead of that long, because I chopped it in half. And he's just been playing with it, but at the moment it looks like it's pretty quiet. So I don't think he's taken it because I threaded it on a couple of times quite securely. I think this what, what this says to us is we've got to get these floats off and just bottom fish. It's, the floats just aren't working. Well, not at the moment, they're not. Alright, what's happening here now, this is the ledger rod. There's been no action on this for about an hour with maggots. I am burly. Admittedly, there are no maggots in the burly. Maybe that's a mistake. But we caught the eel on the bottom, so I've gone back to bottom fishing with this. However, I'm using a very small hook, a number 12 hook, 
Because I noticed with a big worm on a number six hook, which is what I've got here on the bottom, the fish, he tugs and tugs. You're not sure whether you've got him, you haven't got him. You try and hook up, you might scare the fish. But with a number 12 hook and a tiny bit of worm, you can be pretty well guaranteed that if that tip's moving and you pull, it's going to be in his mouth because it's just so small. So that's my thinking. Uh, it's getting a bit chilly here at about 6 o'clock. We're going to be moving in half an hour to get to a more open spot ready for the night. And um, I'm excited about that. See what happens. All right, it's after dinner, and we found this spot much nearer the car, actually. I've still got, I've got this shocking hay fever out here. <sighs> Absolutely bloody shocking. But what a top spot here. We've got some swirling water down there. And it looks very fishy. So I'll see if we can catch something decent. Because I want something decent. We've just changed locations. And look at that baby. It's a brown trout taken on maggots with a feeder on the bottom. Also caught a massive eel over there. I chucked him back. But we didn't bring a net. And I'm very lucky to be able to land this fish. Always bring your net. Alright, let's um, take him home for dinner. Or should we let him go? No, take him home. All right, we'll take him home. All right, we've come to our final spot because the other one, even though it caught a big trout and an eel, just a bit deadly at night, that area. A lot of clay can slip over, so we're going to make this the night shift area. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? All those overhanging trees, very fishy. Well, I've just caught this thing on near dusk. I don't know if that's a blackfish. I don't know what the hell it is. But I'll throw the little bugger back. Um, I'll give you a close-up of him. Let's see if you can turn him around a bit. Can you turn him around? Yep, that's good. All right, here we are, it's night time on the uh, Gellibrand and you might see that little light. That's a little glow tube thingy that you break and shines for you so I can see if I'm getting any bites. Now, it's been night, it's about 10 o'clock here and uh, this spot we moved to just before night time, we've had nothing except that little gudgeon looking thing. Nothing! In this river with bloody abundant bloody blackfish! There's nothing! So, it's a bit depressing, I'm not sure what to do, maybe we should just go to bed. Alright, here we are, it's the morning now, it's like 7am and everyone slept, well alright I suppose. 7am. But no fish last night, no bloody blackfish and they're supposed to bite during the night. I'm very concerned about the uh, population of those fish in this river, I don't reckon there are any. So, I don't know, I just want to go home now but... <laughs> We're going to give it a bit of a shot here because we've got a lot of bait left. What the hell? Well, we fished here for about an hour in the morning and there's just not even a bite, nothing. Maggots on the bottom with maggot feet. I've had worms and hay fever is absolutely killing me. I want to get out of here. So the final tally is two big eels, one decent trout, the one piddly gamudgeon type creature and zero blackfish and I'm disappointed I think I got a feeling we might be fishing too far downstream in the jello brand and we should be more in the forest we're downstream here of Carlisle River so maybe we should be in that forest but um, disappointing fishing this morning just nothing at all could be the weather it's quite cool I don't know fishing is one of those sports where you never know and that's what keeps you coming back See you next time on Pedro Army and Tight Lines. Well, this is uh, what you would call a shoe tree with the odd teddy bear in it. Unbelievable.